So we got a fun unboxing today. I got this in the mail, well, just about an hour ago, from China. Now, here's the thing I wanna start with in this video. SOG is not a company that, in general, I have been pleased with when it comes to multi-tools. The PowerPoint is an oasis in what is, generally speaking, a desert of options. And uh, I was very impressed in my review of this tool. I suspect it's very possible, in fact, that this tool is even better than the PowerPoint because of some key features that they added here that are a little bit different. And before we even go into it and unbox it, let me just say, I think you guys have been taken advantage of if you've bought one of these already because you can go on AliExpress and buy either the Power Leader or the Power Pint for around $30 and change. And that's a pretty substantial difference from what you're gonna buy on Amazon where it's about $50 to $60 depending on whether you got the black or the stainless steel version. So let's go ahead and actually unbox this thing and I'm gonna use this cute little tool that I have on my wrist. Pretty neat, I have to do a separate video on this. It's um, made by EDCS. He just got this finished with his Kickstarter, and this is the production version. I wanted to see if it'll actually get through this packaging, so let's go ahead and try that. Oh, going through like butter. No problem at all, actually. Wow, okay, well that was easy. I guess it works. And then it just clips back in to this little 3D printed holder. And there you go, right on the watch band. Pretty cool. We'll talk about that later. I did a small video on it, but I think it worth, it's worth even like talking about this just by itself. So, Power Pint, Power Leader. Um, it's so frustrating to me that they did so much correct on this and yet failed to replicate the uh, success into other models that they have released since. One of the things that is so great about the Power Pint and Power Leader is how much the jaws open based on how much you move them. Because there is a gear ratio. And for some reason, the gear ratio and all their other tools, except these two, make it so that you have to open the tool like this much just to get it to come out to, say, right there. Where here, you can actually use your hands without having to open it all the way here to get onto something and grab it. And the compound leverage system on the SOG PowerPoint and Power Leader makes more sense for a small tool like this than it does pretty much anywhere else, really. Um, yeah, it just makes a ton of sense. Now, I, I know it's not the easiest thing to see, this black oxide, but thankfully, we're gonna be talking about this stainless steel variant today. So, pocket clip, yay, that's a good thing. This thing comes in at only 4.6 ounces, the same as the Power Pint. And, uh, but it does have some differences. The first one is pretty obvious here. We have a corkscrew. Now the corkscrew is not particularly important. Some would say it's a drawback. They might be right about that. But with a little bit of testing, maybe, you know what? I, I can tell you right now, it doesn't work with the um, Victorinox holders. I'm like pretty confident in that. In fact, let me, give me one second and I'll find it and we can test it. So it's gonna be a big surprise if this works. Just visually, I didn't think that the ratio of turns is the same. So I'm doubting very much that this will actually screw in, but it's worth checking nonetheless. But you know what? Look at that. That actually, well, you'd have to kind of screw it in a little bit more, shouldn't you? Yeah, not quite, not quite. I don't think that's actually quite gonna get gonna get that there. You had you have to go in a little further, but it's possible that you could modify the threading a little bit on the plastic and actually get it to be a tool storage for the corkscrew. Although, if I'm being honest, I'm likely to cut this off just because it adds dimension to the power leader, so it's not as big of an issue for me. What I really want it for is the thing that's opposite the corkscrew. So 
this is the thing that's worth focusing on. See how to get this damn thing out. So the part that I'm most interested in is actually tucked in right here and I am having a hell of a time getting it out. So that's already a strike one, but I think it'll make up for it. Now, I guess if you don't push it all the way down, it's not a big issue because you can just get behind it and pull it out. But what this is going to do in combination with a hex bit, get a couple of them right here. that out just for fun what that's going to do is allow the hex bit holder that's part of this tool to lock in place so if i put this in like so i can actually use the latch to grab the opposite side i think there you go and i can actually feel it hooked in place it's actually hooked in place and now that's completely solid in there that's awesome. I think this, this little feature alone might make it better. That being said, I'm curious, is this, is this actually thicker? I think it's about the same. Okay, it's a little bit thicker. So there is that. So on top of being thicker because of this section, it's thicker with the corkscrew. So this is probably a quite a bit wider. In fact, let me go ahead and get the calipers and we'll actually do a formal measurement. Okay, so across the frame itself it's going to be give or take man i should have gotten the digital calipers one two three four five six uh six eighths of an inch and then it's about give or take uh 106 uh 16 uh, millimeters 16 millimeters Whew. that was rough I definitely should get the digital out and make me look bad. Anyway, so 16 versus what? Versus 14. So it's two millimeters thicker on the frame. And then if we include this, I mean, it's substantial. Uh, we're talking a solid 20 millimeters or two centimeters. So this was already a little bit bulky and then you add the corkscrew on this and it's gonna get even more so. So I'm not sure that that helps it all that much, but this locking mechanism, I think might make it worth it, especially if I cut off this corkscrew, which is what I plan to do personally. And then I think it makes a lot more sense. This little latch mechanism, really, really cool. I mean, it, you basically flex it, flex it, and then it locks in. And that's it. I don't have to worry about squeezing it as much anymore. Whew. That's really cool. And then I guess I have to have to squeeze it down a little bit. To, how do I get it undone? Okay, you have to really bear down a little bit. There we go. So you have to almost flex the handles to kind of get that released. So let me put that away for just a second. Let's go through the rest of the tool set. So it comes with the majority of the items that you will find on the power pint. So you get the Phillips head driver, the uh, bottle opener, which for some weird reason does not have a flathead. And the same thing is true for this can opener, which does not also have a flathead. Two things I just don't understand. And then on the other side, we have a pretty, I, actually, I really like this setup. Not the easiest thing to get out on this side compared to the power point where you can grab all the tools without hurting anyone. And of course, I'm doing it through a viewfinder, so I'd prefer not to hurt myself. So there we go. So we have the pull cutter, the reamer all, the straight blade, and the, so the micro flathead. And these are a little bit tighter than they were on the power point that I opened. This is a much easier to open than the other one. This definitely has a higher tension. This is so much easier, in fact, now that I'm comparing them. So my particular version, I mean, this, these are very tight, very, very tight. And I, I think that's not a big deal for me to just loosen these up. Hopefully uh, it won't be too difficult. And if I do have an issue, I can always use some screw pliers to loosen them. So that's a backup plan. All right, 
Now, one thing I should have checked, let's take a look and see. Yep, just like the other PowerPoint, there is zero movement in the tip on these things. So that's two for two in good plier heads from SOG on these PowerPoints. Funny enough, look at this came out of the box with a bunch of scratches already. <laughs> Gotta love that quality control. Anyway, um, what I'm not exactly sure what more to add to this. We've already done a review of the PowerPoint. Many of the same things are true here. The ability to use standard hex bits and then lock them in place to turn it into an inline screwdriver might make this one of the more versatile tools out there, especially with that locking mechanism. I do believe that the corkscrew is not a great option, but something that you know you can choose to keep or not keep. Regardless though, I am much, much happier that I spent 30 on this instead of the 50 that people are charging on Amazon. So my recommendation is to take the weight and buy it on AliExpress, where you're gonna get it a heck of a lot cheaper. And it is an actual SOG tool. It has the warranty, it has everything, okay? And it is actually made there, so there's a reason why it's being sold on AliExpress. They're not duplicates, they're not copies, they're the real thing. There's no reason to uh, copy them. And there's other models from SOG as well that you can find on AliExpress, all of which are made in China and very inexpensive. So highly recommend to do it that way. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna end up modifying this particular model. I don't know if I'll end up putting anything where the corkscrew is. I'll probably just end up just cutting it off. It's not very useful to me. And I'll probably even take out these teeth, which look like they're just gonna be kind of a hand problem. And uh, yeah, not much more to say about this. The steel on the blade is a 5CR, which is similar to 420HC. It's not quite as good. And there's um, no telling exactly how well the heat treatment is on these. I'm sure somebody has tested the SOG power pint, but yeah, I wouldn't say it's gonna hold up great. Last thing I'm gonna point out, and then we'll end this video, is if you had to unlock this, you can open it slightly and press down on the lock bar but someone, a number of people have pointed out in the past that all you actually have to do is lift one of the other tools and that will release the one that is locked in place and then you can close everything. And that's true on both sides. Man, I really need to loosen this side. And then if I wanted to close this scissor, I just simply lift the tools here and then close everything. There you go. So there you go, the SOG Power Leader. That latch alone, I think, justifies its um, inclusion as being a good option. I've, I think if you're gonna go to town on something with any bit, having that latch is just gonna make it a heck of a lot easier. I wish they would just include that here without the corkscrew or anything else. I'm not sure I could transpose that system. It looks like it takes up quite a bit of space. Maybe I can, and if I can, I might very well just drag and drop it into the power pint, and then I'll have everything I want in this tool. If I can, we'll make that as a separate video. Anyway, as always, thanks for your time, and we'll talk again soon.